Hey everybody, I'm John Swantek. Welcome to Match Play. You know how it works. Two experts from our panel debating three different topics, and uh, I will decide who wins each topic in a Match Play format, and we'll crown one champion or maybe co-champions if they have the match, because it's going to be a good one this week. We welcome Matt Adams from the PGA Tour Network, whose show Fairways of Life can be heard on Sirius XM Radio every morning. And appearing for the first time, David Dusek, deputy editor of Golf.com and a contributor to its weekly Tour Confidential. Topic number one goes to David. After his finish of 20th in Dubai last week, Tiger Woods continues to chase the form that once made him the man, David. Do you think the game is more compelling with one dominant player being chased, as it was when Tiger was on top, or with a host of world-class players battling it out every week? Well, certainly when you've got a whole bunch of guys who potentially can win major championships or, or tournaments week to week, it adds a lot more drama. I mean, when, when you're basically going out there and it seems like it's a foregone conclusion, whether it really is or not, but you come into an event as a spectator or a fan or even sometimes as a columnist like us, you know, you, you don't want to already have your lead written. It's a lot more fun for everybody involved, and it's a lot more interesting if, if there's a whole lot of questions that, that you, know, you have to wait for the answer until Sunday evening to, to get answered. Matt, there's great golf being played all around the globe right now, huh? I absolutely think that from a fan's perspective, it is a great time to be a fan of the game. Golf is entertainment, and the success of entertainment is purely a democracy. If you look at the NBA, the pinnacle of its modern existence was when Michael Jordan was dominating the game. And since Michael Jordan has retired, the ratings for the NBA had steadily declined. So clearly when the people speak, the people speak and they say, no, we want a dominant player. We want Tiger Woods. That's a good point, Matt. I think uh, Tiger dominating for a decade made everyone raise the level of their game. And I think we're seeing the end result of that right now. Terrific players, and they're hungry to win. This is their moment. I'm kind of with uh, Dave Dusick on the topic number one, so he takes a quick one-up advantage. Topic two goes to Matt Adams as we go from the DA points, Bill Murray, Cinderella story at Pebble Beach last weekend, down to famed Riviera outside of L.A. for the Northern Trust Open. In the shadow of Hollywood, Matt, and that got us thinking, what is the best golf-themed movie out there? You know, the easy answer is to say, Caddyshack, I think that what we learn from the game reveals something about who we are, reveals something about society at large and the gentleman's game that we all know and love. So for me, the movie that captures the essence of the sport undoubtedly is The Legend of Bagger Vance because that's a movie that we all can walk away from. And even though if there's fantasy incorporated in it, we can walk away from it and say, you know what? That movie really touched me at the heart and soul level of what I believe about the sport of golf. Yeah, very well put, David. Uh, Matt Adams is kind of an old-school guy. I thought he was going to go follow the sun with Glenn Ford on us there. I, I can smell the tweed <laughs> and then the pipe smoke emanating right through the lines here. My goodness. To say that, that any a movie other than Caddyshack is the greatest golf movie of all time, I mean, you almost had to hand in your gin card, basically, when, when you say something like that in my book. And this movie goes beyond the essence of the game. It's a cultural icon. And forget like the number of quotes that anybody in the golf world you know, goes to and hears from this movie every single day. They nailed it on so many levels, in so many ways, and every time you see it come on TV, I defy you to change the channel and go beyond Caddyshack. It's got to be the greatest of all time. The uh, synergy of uh, the 30th anniversary of Caddyshack and Bill Murray just winning the Pro-Am is pretty strong, but uh, Matt Adams makes a very compelling case, I think, for the, the uh, legend of Bagger Vance. I'm going to say the boys have that one. So uh, Dusek is uh, still alive, and uh, so is Matt Adams as we head to topic number three. It goes to David Riviera, site of the uh, Northern Trust Open this week, is known as Hogan's Alley, one of two Hogan's Alleys. Hogan won there three times, including the U.S. Open in 1948, David. What other course do you think is perhaps more synonymous that's regularly played on the PGA Tour with a certain player? Well, I think it has to be Tiger Woods and Torrey Pines. I mean, obviously having so many wins on the PGA Tour at that venue, you know, probably one of the most iconic and, and most unbelievable performances of any golfer's career to win there literally on a broken leg at a U.S. Open in 2008. You know, to me, every time the guy tees it up there, we simply anticipate and we break out our friends who are anticipating the win. I, I think the nod has to go to Tiger and Torrey Pines. Matt Tiger's dominated on a lot of courses, and Ben Hogan actually may have been more dominant at Colonial. What do you think? Well, there's no doubt about it that Ben Hogan's uh, aura at Colonial looms large, but at the risk of settling into a present-day conceit, I'm going to once again reach back to my tweet and pipe smoke, and I have to say <laughs> that when I look at a player in terms of an iconic performance, 
I'm going to go to with Sam Snead in the Greater Greensboro Open. One, because he holds the record for the most wins in that event at eight. And what's significant about it is that when you consider the fact that Sam Snead won that event in 1938 for his very first PGA Tour title, and then he won it again in 65, becoming the oldest player to win a tour event, a record that still stands to this day. We have to look at Sam Snead and say, oh, no, he was the greatest. I'm going to get uh, Matt Adams on a technicality. Eight wins for Snead and Greensboro, only four came at Sedgefield Country Club. I was wondering if you were going to call me. <laughs> well, well done, I was going to call him. A cr- Is he old enough to be called a curmudgeon? <laughs> I mean, my goodness gracious. Tell you what, I'm going to have that one because I think Tiger was even more dominant on some other courses. Six at Bay Hill, seven at Firestone, but uh, good points made by both fellows. So they, they have the third topic, and David Dusek edges out Matt Adams by winning the first topic this week in our latest installment of Match Play. Well, well done, David. Well played, gentlemen. Thanks, guys.